welcome Josie and welcome to Uncovered. We're here at the beautiful Sydney Rushcutters Bay with the amazing hip hop Shalitis. group from Adelaide, Class. the Fun Cause. Class. Amazing. Class. Welcome, welcome guys. Thank you very much. So you guys had a big show last night at the Beresford, was it? How yep. did it go? It was big. It was awesome, actually. Yeah, really, really good cool. vibe. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's an amazing venue, um, one of Sydney's best. So you guys are on tour at the moment, are you? Yeah, we're surprised they let us in there, actually. So <laughs> thank you very much for that, Ferris. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why back. is that? Why is that? <laughs> oh, we walked in there and felt awkward. You know? Yeah, it was. Really? Just, it was just really nice. Like we walked in. Such a good venue. Yeah, it was just super nice. Are you used to playing at more rough-edged sort of venues? Uh, I guess it's usually the rough edge sort of venues that take the rough edge sort of characters. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. I mean, you guys are known for rowdy sort of behaviour at, at your gigs. <laughs> not us, no. no, not us. No. Not you guys, but I mean, has it has there ever been a time where the fans have gotten a little bit out of control? Charles got bitten last night. Yeah, I got, I got Are you hand. joking? Yeah, she oh, they got the shilmish through blood last night. That oh, was interesting. We don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. It was that was for real. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. Wow. You can't really see anymore. The, the injury has gone see down. It. You can see it. No, it's gone down. Actually, that's gone, man. She just kind of like, unacceptable behaviour. She <laughs> wouldn't let go either, man. And, and yeah, it was just out of out of the blue. It was but, but it's dope because, like, you know, as mu anything they give to us, we try yeah. to smash yeah. it straight back as, as much as possible. So it's better to have a crowd full of people going absolutely we, mental with it than people just of that kind of show going about about shit. So I beat six girls last Yeah, so Hanson got bit six people in return. He was like, yeah. you know what, I'm going to bite yeah, everybody now. So do you guys get groupies and girls that are hanging around? Hanson? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even going to fucking deny it. Classic, classic. All right, classic. So, so I mean... We won't go there, guys. No, 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 no. We, want, we want to keep it clean. We want that's to keep it clean. That's crass. So you guys have been together for some time now. How did the fun course come about? Mm, who wants that one? How did you come about? <laughs> when did you guys get together? 2099. Yeah. Wow. And is this the original lineup? This yes. Is the only wow. lineup. Yeah. We had another drummer, but then we got here. <laughs> <laughs> We have Pete Best for a while. Yeah, we, we, we have we have we have like uh, you know unofficial members of the group. Like okay, cool. like cause there's a big Golden Era family, well, so there's you know yeah. Vince yeah. And, and Fuad, and, and we have this one guy called the Fac. He's actually standing off camera, so if you could get his face in right now, Fac, would you like to be your face? Come right? on, just go on, go, oh, go back, on, back, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, the, the fact helps us out. He's like our session king, so he does a lot of work for us as well Excellent. in the lab and all the yes. so. And speaking of Golden Era Records, I mean, that's the Hilltop Hoods record label. Yep. How did that come about? That must have been like pretty pivotal in your career, yeah? Yeah, well, they started up a little label to release State of the Art. Um, they uh, moved on from where they were before and, and, and you know, said, OK, we're going to go out and put this together. Um, and then, you know, they, they invited the friends to, to uh, kind of join the label. So Vince and, uh, and Briggs, ourselves, um, you know, kind of jumped on there and made sense, you know what I mean? We're, totally. we're kind of make music together and as a family together anyway, type of thing. Yeah, so. we're all friends first and foremost. That's yeah. the best part yeah. about it, is that yeah. every single person on the label uh, uh, is, is a crew. We've been friends for, for years. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. why we all kind of makes fall in So you guys knew the Hilltop Hoods before you got signed, or did that eventually? Oh, we, we've known them for quite some time, yeah. yeah. I'm sure they would have liked to have known us for quite a lesser Less amount of time, but, <laughs> but yeah. it sucks, but we're deep in their history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've been on every record, I think. Of yeah, us, every so. single one of our records from the start, they're on, they're on oh, every one of yeah. them. Awesome. Yep, yep. I mean, y your record, The Hangover, that was album of the week on Triple J. Back so, day, back yes. in the day, absolutely. Yes. And now we've got The Quickening. Yep. Um, how has your music progressed from then to now? It's kind of got a little bit more mature, I more hope. More mature? <laughs> Ish. <laughs> three years worth of maturity. Yeah, three what years. What was that? There's about three years worth of maturity has gone to the new one. <laughs> yeah. But from the first one, there's about ten years of maturity. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's all very situational. Like, from, from the jump, in 2003 was the first one, so we were kids, you know what I mean? So we're rhyming about shit that kids like to do, which is ridiculous, stupid, silly things. Scandalous. Yeah. Scandalous. 
scandalous, <laughs> scandalous things. And you know, 06, we were still, you know, early 20s, yeah, kids that was still the party. You know, doing yeah. Woo, that was the party. Party. scandalous. Then there was the hangover, and then the hangover was bad. And, and we, we hated ourselves for a few years, and, and now we're at a good position where we've been making music for long enough. We can, you know, put down just just situational things every single day, every single every single thing yeah. that we can yeah. do. Yeah. Like greatest hits was like sort of like like the real pinnacle of the party in Europe. Yeah. I think when we were touring that, and yeah. then going into the Hangover was when we sort of realised that we just can't quite do that. Ever. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And we sort of started to grow up now it's sort of like mid-20s and, and we And it to grow is up. only natural progression that, you know, the music gets more mature and, and stuff like that. But, I mean, you guys are quite explicit and yep. quite controversial. Classic. How do, you, <laughs> <laughs> how do you think that sits with, like, a younger audience? Like, what what's the reasoning behind that sort of approach, do you think? I don't know. When we were kids, but when I was a kid, I really, I really liked it. The explicitness in rap music. That's yeah. what it, honest, that's what appealed to me. Yeah, I love yeah, that yeah, shit. Honest, just outpouring, just straight onto a record like that. This is how it is. Bang, record. Yeah, dark, yeah. You know and that, that always appeals to me. And you know, like, if it appeals to the kids, fantastic. If, if it doesn't, uh, well, yeah. What can you do? Next year. <laughs> <laughs> um, the kids will like explicit things again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I guess that grabs them as well. You know, like. Well, the kids used to love swearing heaps. Swearing, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like back to like 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 when we were younger doing stuff, like all, all the crowd. Was just, I think like, it's yeah. more, more than just us. Maybe we just like swearing. I think it might be us. And you're keeping yeah. it real. You're keeping it honest, which is awesome. Yeah. And uh, I actually heard rumor that you guys were in the Rolling Stone magazine. Is that true? Uh, we would have been in there, and, and only because we have a friend that writes for him. I'm telling you, that's probably it. <laughs> yeah, because I actually yeah. just spoke to someone, and they're like, "Oh my God, the phone calls! Wow, there. Rolling Stone!" I'm yeah. like, "Man, these guys are in Rolling Stone." No, nah, that's got to be Luke's fault. <laughs> We're yeah. guys who writes yeah, for Rolling thanks, Stone. Luke. Um, Cheers, Luke. <laughs> yeah, so every every review you see us get in that magazine is for Gazy, is false as uh, uh, <laughs> four and a half stars. You thanks. know you've made it. Thanks, Luke. Four and a half. You're the mang mang. <laughs> you know you've made it when you're in Rolling Stone. Yeah. Album of the week on yeah. Triple J. Zoom magazine. Oh Zoom yeah, magazine. no, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Luke, Luke also writes for People magazine too, yeah, so yeah, we have been in that as well. Classic, yeah, classic, yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah. Have you been in Zoo or was that just a No, 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 no we've been in Zoo. Did you have did you have <laughs> the groupies? The groupies sitting around? Oh uh, no, no, no. We were in Ralph as well. Ralph DMC. They got up and supported us for once. Wow. That was interesting. Luke's goes in everything, eh? Yeah, it's basically this one guy's fault that we're in any mainstream media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. I just wanted to uh, ask you about what's coming up and what can the fans expect? Um, coming up, not from our camp in particular, okay. uh, but, but from, from WA, a uh, best mate of ours, uh, Hunter. He's a pioneer of the Aussie rap scene. He just passed away actually yesterday. Oh, I'm big, sorry to hear uh, that, man. Yeah, it's, it's terrible, but uh, he's, his legacy absolutely lives on through all of his tunes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and he's got this album together. It's 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 full canteen, and it's it's a, a, the nation's best hip hop cruise on. He's, he's kind of got everyone together, yeah. you know, from I think Hoods and Coolism. Yeah, something. everyone. Like, he's cool got a whole heap of groups. Yeah, every single person you can think of is, is on this, and it's for it's such a sick cause. And it um, really should be. Supported. Everybody's so got to get checked for that. Again, it's can for, for canteen, so it's it's for cancer research. Um, it's it's Hunter's CD that him. And him and Disaster are putting together. And what's the name of the album? I, I think it might even just be called Hip Hop for Canteen or something yeah, like that. Okay. Or something. Yeah. And you guys are obviously going to be promoting that through your Facebook page and things like yeah, that. Like yeah, like wildfire. Yeah, our music is a little bit too explicit for the Canteen CD, so we will just do our best by flogging We're gonna it out there otherwise. Yeah, so absolutely. big ups to that and check that out. All right, you guys enjoying Sydney? Oh, yes, yeah, very much. We went to Bondi for the first time. Bondi, today. awesome. Sensational. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. <laughs> All right, guys, well, thanks for coming down to Sydney. We love having you here. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you guys. I'm Josie. You're watching Uncovered and um, Classic. this Classic. is the fun cause Classic. guys. Get into it. You tell them that you're giving it up but you're like no.